What is this scripture doing in the Bible? It says, but the rest of the dead live not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Now, this, this, the rest of the dead, you've got to understand. First of all, you have the first fruits that God is calling now, the elect of God. They'll come up in the first resurrection. And then you have the thousand year reign of Christ on this earth, the millennial reign of Christ on this earth. After that, you have what's called the second resurrection, where the rest of the dead come up. Well, who are these rest of the dead? Well, let me tell you a little story, and I'll turn to some scripture here. It's Ezekiel 37. It's about the Valley of Dry Bones. Now, this is a fascinating little read here. Ezekiel's out there, and he's told to preach to bones. You know, it's just a bunch of dead, you know, dried up human remains well, no, actually, not the remains, but just the bones that are left. And he's told to preach to these, to these bones. And as he's preaching, these bones start to click together. And then skin starts to wrap around the bones. And they're lying there still dead. Eventually, they look like you know, flesh and blood human beings, but they're still dead. And he's told, keep preaching, my man, keep preaching. And this, these beings, these human, human beings, flesh and blood human beings, raise up an exceeding great army of people. Now this is a description, Ezekiel 37, the Valley of Dry Bones, this is a description of the second resurrection, the rest of the dead, like Paul Harvey would say, the rest of the story. We got the rest of the dead. Is that really in the Bible? What you think is in the Bible is not.